Hi everybody, I'm Ryan. And there have been some rebalances and a banning in Alchemy, which is an arena format. Alchemy is effectively standard, except with the extra arena-only sets released that have like Hearthstone-esque cards. And normally, instead of banning cards, they rebalance cards, so you can still keep playing with the cards that you buy on Arena. And one deck has been really, really dominant in Alchemy, especially after the release of the One Ring. And Orcish Bowmasters. That deck is Red Black Midrange. Red Black Midrange was probably the best deck before those two releases, but because Lord of the Rings is legal in Alchemy, getting those two cards, getting those two cards have really blown the deck out of proportion. So they're doing two major things. One, they are banning Fable of the Mirror Breaker, which kind of makes sense, though it's weird they didn't rebalance, because bans are really, really, really rare in Alchemy. And they are reducing Crucius, Titan of the Waves, toughness from three to one. So let's read the explanation. Black Red Midrange decks featuring Crucius, Titan of the Waves, Fable of the Airbreaker, and Shield of the Apocalypse have been one of the best performing archetypes in Alchemy. The One Ring further powered up these decks with the release of Lord of the Rings Tales of Middle-Earth. As a result, we are rebalancing Crucius, Titan of the Waves, and are banning Fable of the Mirror Breaker in Alchemy. With Kamigawa Neon Dynasty rotating out of Alchemy with the release of Wilds of Eldraine later this year, we are banning Fable of the Mirror Breaker instead of rebalancing the enchantment. We want to avoid disrupting the historic metagame with a rebalance that would only be in effect for a few months. That kind of makes sense, because the rebalances don't only affect Alchemy, but affect historic, you know, if it's an arena rebalance. Okay. Crucius Titan of the Waves is losing two toughness to be more vulnerable to removal and in combat. Players were often pressured to pass their turn and save expensive removal spells to prevent Crucius from triggering, and Crucius' stats were good enough to stave off attacks in the early game. Now Crucius will be exposed to cheap removal such as Cut Down and Play with Fire and Bowmasters, which reduces the opportunity cost of preventing its trigger. Aggressive decks will also be able to more profitably attack into Crucius before its powerful card filtering ability takes control of the game. So let's break that down just a little bit. The banning of Fable of Mirror Breaker isn't necessarily saying that Fable is impossible to rebalance to make it better. The reason is that it is rotating out of Alchemy in just a few months, and when they make changes because of Alchemy, those changes in those cards are also affect Historic and vice versa, because there's only like the original card and the arena like reformatting of a card. They didn't want to disrupt Historic because of Fable of Mirror Breaker messing up Alchemy, so they just banned it because it's rotating out soon anyway. Okay, that makes sense. And then Crucius has been a really, really important part of these red-black midrange decks because of its filtering ability and ramp ability. And so they're reducing its toughness so it's easier to answer and so that it doesn't stop aggro because something that stops aggressive cards and something that filters cards and ramps was probably a little too much, which I agree. Crucius was a totally messed up card. This card was due for a rebalance. Absolutely. But what do you think about these rebalances in Alchemy if you play Alchemy? Let me know down in the comments. And if you like this video, please be sure to like and subscribe. Check me out on social media. Links are above me and in the description, especially on Discord and Twitter. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.